What's up guys, it's Cher talking, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showcasing my strategy for Battle with Eevee, this new Global X event that is actually very fun since we have to fight Eevee and there are serious challenges. Well, the first fight we were seeing in serious challenges based on a group of different game series. In this case, Eevee attacks with all physical types, Slash, Blunt, Pierce, also Lightning, can inflict Darkness that barely matters. Stun and Petrify. Petrify is single target, but Stun is AoE, and if AV attacks again after the Stun, and you are stunned, you're probably gonna die, because you lose all your defense capabilities when you are stunned. AV is only weak to Pierce, but you should not care too much about Elemental that you are using versus AV. It does help if you are using Pierce, but it's more about sustaining and keeping up versus ailments. Now, uh, First of all, I'll be showcasing the romancing strategy with many different characters to be used here, and I will also take the opportunity to showcase Asilus and Alkaiser, two characters from the new banner that are actually awesome to be used here. Well, well, well. I'm using the Rising Phoenix EX formation because this one will buff my will, and buffing will will help me sustain ailments. I also have a buffer here that is Novel's daughter, but it can be any. It can also be the new Princess White Rose, it can be even Key, you can run Muse, and any other. Then I have here Asylus the center because, well, I want Asylus to counter with Azura's Strife. I inherited this. If you don't have Azura Strike, just use Azura Instant Blade. It's okay. She buffs our status, gives Phantom, and recovers BP. But I wanted to showcase how strong she can get by buffing and just countering two times. Then I have Al Kaiser instead of Cho, just to showcase how this guy can work as well. I inherited Punishing Rush Plus. I a comment in my review of Al Kaiser because I do believe that's actually the best inheritance for him since he still attacks and has a chance to chase and we recover more BP than he spent most of the time. Then we have here Subir and why Subir? Just because the enemy is weak to Pierce and I wanted to showcase that he's also good by buffing and debuffing on different turns. Uh, he needs to resist, so check his equipment if you are running this guy. And I have Liz as well because Liz gives a lot of defense boosts, heals, and protects. Now, you can run any other characters, like instead of Asylus, you can run Julian, you can run Fire Emperor, Counter Style, you can run Human, Female, Human, Male, all of them work. If you want, just run Joe instead of Alkaiser. Works just fine. You don't need to run Subir, you can run Death, you can run Fire Empress, you can run Ludwig if you want. And instead of Nawal's Daughter, you can run any other buffer, like Muse, like uh, Melissa, like Princess White Rose, and instead of Liz, you can run Death. You can run Final Impress and many others. So I just wanted to showcase how this strategy works. For equipment, I brought resistance to all physical types. Try to keep some lightning resistance as well. And have most of my status above 35. Oh yeah, I have to change my Subir equipment because he was changed in the last second. But that's okay. With all that said, let's go to the fight. Okay, the fight will start. You can actually save BP on start if you want, or just use Azure Strife on start. Maybe Instant Blade to buff everyone. I want more agility because AV has high agility, and AV can buff agility when attacking and debuff yours as well. It's a medium chance to happen, but it will always happen. It doesn't matter how much we will have to protect. You will get debuff it. So there's also skills that AV can use to debuff, but those can be... Uh, well negated via buffs. I'll be using Water Fast with Noel's Daughter. If you don't have, just use Heal Lord String. But this one is good here. Uh, Al Kaiser will start with Rising of Phoenix. Liz will use Dragon's Blessing. And Subir can just use Water Javelin. He's more of a nuker in this situation than anything else. Rising of Phoenix will give us defense boost. Oh, he even chased it with Real Phoenix Plus. Damage will scale well because we'll be buffing all the time. You can see that we were not fast enough to attack and trigger the counter. That is a problem with Asylus, sadly. But okay, we were more uh, geared towards buffing than anything else. In this moment, I will save BP. 
I can use another Rising Elf Phoenix, Dragon's Blessing, and I have enough for Ocean Vortex Spear, and I'll use it. From turn 3 onwards, we will be fast enough versus AV. And I'm not bringing a buff breaker. In other strategies, I'll be bringing buff breakers because they will remove buffs that AV can cast. And if AV buffs too much, you may miss your attacks if you don't have buffers yourself. Still, this is not one of those fights where buffing is mandatory. Or removing buffs. Depends on the cares that you are running. And you see that I managed to counter. The problem with Asa is that she does not taunt. So she doesn't have very high chances to draw enemy attacks. But at least now, on Overdrive, we can use Azure Strife. And she will counter twice if AV directly attacks her. Now let's do everything else. In turn 3 and every 3 turns, this heals and protects more. Now AV, please use a direct attack versus Ocelus so that we can showcase how good she can be when she counters twice. Nice, we are getting combos. This will help. Yeah, this is a direct attack, so it means double counter. And every time that Asolus attacks, she gets 2 BP. Just got... Four. Wings left exactly direct. She could counter. But she didn't. Now I guess she will have enough speed to always keep using Azure as a Shrive. We can all use the same skills again as well. Just keep an eye on AV if AV is buffing too much agility. Ah, nice. We managed to get a combo here. His attack is indirect. This one is indirect too. We didn't manage to counter. If you want, you can just run Azure Instant Blade too, since you don't always counter. I'm gonna use Azure Instant Blade this turn, and the other one I'll use Azure Strife. Because everyone will be on overdrive that, that turn. Two Punishing Rush. If we buff too much, AV will never pose a problem. It's also somehow a nice way to test new units. Aha! We managed to counter. Right when I only use it one counter. Force of Nature is indirect. You can see that uh, AV is buffing a lot of agility and self buffing as well. It also seems like AV starts to attack more often after some turns. Now it's time to nuke Azure Strife, Water Festival, Rising of Phoenix. I'm I think I'll start doing damage with this. Well, there's way too many buffs and stuff with this squad. It's not the strongest one to clear the fight fast. I'll showcase Julian. That is much, much faster. But sometimes you have to play with new units so that people can see how they work and all. 
still think we'll finish this by turn 7 or 8. Depends on how many counters we get. Oh, why did you two attack Asylums? Yeah, this is a direct attack. Don't ask me why, it doesn't look like one. But that's two counters on you, Wavy. I guess turn 8 will be the end. Let's do damage. Let's. So Beer eventually does good enough damage. You were never in danger on this fight. Even if it's not the fastest strategy, you were never in danger. That's good enough for me. Ah, uh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, the fight will end on the next turn. Life pack is direct, so take a counter, Eevee, and take another one. And this is the end. It's fully the end. Maybe Subir will kill even. Since I don't think Asylus will. No, no, she will. See? Well, this is a way to showcase both Al Kaiser and Asylus together. And thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have it. If you want to support the channel, we have links on the description of the video. I see you soon in the next one. Bye.